The Quran, a complete revelation. Translated and read by Sam Gerrans. Chapter 21 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Nigh to men draws their reckoning, and they are in heedlessness disinclined. There comes not to them any new remembrance from their Lord, but they listen to it while they play, their hearts oblivious. And those who do wrong conceal their confidential conversation. Is this save a mortal like you? Will you go to sorcery when you can see? My Lord says, He knows what is spoken in the sky and the earth, and He is the hearing, the knowing. But, they say, a confused medley of dreams. But, He has invented it. But, He is a poet. So let him bring us a proof like unto that sent to the men of old. No city believed before them among those we destroyed. Would they then believe? And we sent before thee only men whom we instructed, and ask the people of the remembrance if you know not. And we gave them not bodies that ate not food, and they were not immortals. Then fulfilled we the promise to them, and delivered them, and whom we wished, and destroyed the committers of excess. We have sent down to you a decree wherein is your remembrance. Will you then not use reason? And how many a city that was doing wrong did we break, and bring into being after it another people? And when they perceived our might, then did they hasten away from it. Hasten not away, but return to that wherein you were given opulence and your dwellings, that you might be questioned. They said, Woe is us, we were wrongdoers. And that their call ceased not until we made them reaped silent. And we created not the sky and the earth and what is between them in jest. If we had wished to take a diversion, we could have taken it from our presence if we were to do so. But we hurl the truth against vanity and it negates it and then it passes away. And woe to you for what you describe. And to him belongs whoso is in the heavens and the earth, and those in his presence are not too proud to serve him, nor do they grow weary. They give glory night and day, and they flag not. If they take gods from the earth who can resurrect, were there in them gods save God, they would have been corrupted. And glory be unto God, the Lord of the throne, above what they describe. He is not questioned about what he does, but they will be questioned. If they take gods besides him, say thou, bring your evidence. This is a remembrance of those with me, and a remembrance of those before me. Most of them know not the truth, and they are disinclined. And we sent not before thee any messenger, save we instructed him, There is no God, save I, so serve me. And they say, The Almighty has taken a son. Glory be unto him. But, Honoured servants, precede him not in speech, but act by his command. He knows what is at their time and what following them, and they cannot intercede save for him with whom he is pleased, and they are apprehensive from fear of him. And whoso among them says, I am a god besides him, for that we reward him with hell. Thus reward we the wrongdoers. Have not those who are indifferent to warning considered 
that the heavens and the earth were sewn together, then ripped we them apart, and made every living thing of water. Will they then not believe? And we made in the earth firm mountains, lest it sway with them, and we placed therein mountain passes as ways that they might be rightly guided. And we made the sky a roof protected, and they are disinclined towards its proofs, when he it is who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon, each in a circuit swimming. And we appointed not eternity for a mortal before thee. If then thou wilt die, then are they eternal. Every soul will taste death, and we try you with evil and with good, as a means of denial, and to us will you be returned. And when those who are indifferent to warning see thee, they only make mockery of thee. Is this he who remembers your gods? And they deny the remembrance of the Almighty. Man was created of haste. I will show you my proofs, so ask not me to make haste. And they say, When is this promise if you be truthful? If those who are indifferent to warning but knew the time, they will not be able to hold back the fire from their faces and from their backs, and they will not be helped. But it will come upon them unexpectedly and render them speechless, and they will be unable to repel it nor will they be granted respite. And messengers have been mocked before thee. Then there surrounded those who derided them that whereat they mocked. Say thou, who can protect you by night and day from the Almighty? But they are disinclined towards the remembrance of their Lord, if they have gods who can defend them besides us, they are unable to help themselves, nor are they afforded protection from us. But we gave these and their fathers enjoyment until life seemed long to them. Have they then not considered how we bring the earth, diminishing it from its extremities? Can they then be the victors? Say thou. I but warn you by instruction, but the deaf hear not the call when they are warned. And if there touch them a hint of the punishment of thy Lord, they will say, Woe is us, we were wrongdoers. And we will set the balance of equity for the day of resurrection, and no soul will be wronged in anything. And if it be the weight of a mustard seed, we will bring it, and sufficient are we as account takers. And we gave Musa and Harun the division, and an illumination, and a remembrance for those of prudent fear, those who fear their Lord in the unseen, and are apprehensive of the hour. And this is a blessed remembrance we sent down, will you then not recognize it? And we gave Ibrahim his sound judgment before, and we knew him when he said to his father and his people, What are these likenesses to which you are devoted? They said, We found our fathers serving them. He said, You and your fathers are in obvious error. They said, Hast thou brought the truth, or art thou of those who jest? He said, But... Your Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, he who made them, and I am of those who bear witness to that. And by God I will outwit your things fashioned after you have turned and gone. And he made them into pieces, save the chief of them, that they might return to it. They said, Whoso has done this to our gods is among the wrongdoers. They said, we heard a youth remember them who is called Ibrahim. They said, 
Then bring him before the eyes of the people, that they might bear witness. They said, Didst thou this to our gods, O Ibrahim? He said, But this their chief did it. So ask them if they speak. And they returned to themselves and said, You are the wrongdoers. Then they recovered themselves. Thou knewest that these speak not, he said. Then serve you besides God what cannot benefit you or harm you in anything. Fie upon you and all that you serve besides God. Will you then not use reason? They said, Burn him and defend your gods if you are to act. We said, O fire, be thou coolness and peace upon Ibrahim. And they desired a plan for him, but we made them those most in loss, and we delivered him and Lut to the land we had blessed for all mankind. And we gave him Ishaq and Yaqub in addition and each we made righteous. And we made them leaders, guiding by our command, and instructed them in doing good deeds, and upholding the duty, and giving the purity, and they served us. And Lut we gave judgment and knowledge, and we delivered him from the city that was doing bad deeds. They were an evil people, wantonly perfidious. And we made him enter into our mercy. He was of the righteous. And Noch, when he called out before, we responded to him and delivered him and his household from the tremendous ordeal. And we helped him against the people who repudiated our proofs. They were an evil people, and we drowned them all together. And Dawood and Suleiman, when they passed judgment concerning the tilth, when the sheep of the people had pastured therein, and we were witnesses to their judgment, and we gave Suleiman understanding of it, and each we gave judgment and knowledge, and we made serviceable with Dawood the mountains, giving glory and the birds and we were the doers. And we taught him the making of garments for you to protect you from your might. Are you then grateful? And to Suleiman, the wind raging, running by his command towards the land we had blessed. And we knew everything. And among the shaitans, those diving for him and doing work besides that, and we were custodians over them. And Ayyub, when he called out to his Lord, Adversity has touched me, and thou art the most merciful of those who show mercy. Then we responded to him, and removed what of adversity was upon him, and gave him his household, and their like with them as mercy from our presence, and a reminder for those who serve and Ismail, and Idris, and him of the pledge, all were among the patient. And we made them enter into our mercy. They are among the righteous. And he of the fish, when he left in wrath, and supposed that we had no power over him, then he cried out in the darkness, There is no God save thou, Glory be unto thee, I have been among the wrongdoers. So we responded to him and delivered him from distress, and thus do we deliver the believers. And Zachariah, when he cried out to his Lord, My Lord, leave thou me not alone, and thou art the best of inheritors. Then we responded to him and gave him Yahya and made right his wife for him. They all competed in good works and called to us in hope and fear and were humbled towards us. And she who guarded her modesty, 
We breathed into her of our spirit and made her and her son a proof for all mankind. This, your community, is one community, and I am your Lord, so serve me. But they divided their affair among them. All are returning to us. And whoso works any righteous deed and is a believer, there is no rejection of his effort, and we are writers of it. And a prohibition is upon a city we have destroyed. They will not return. When Yajuj and Majuj have been loosed, and they from every quarter issue forth, and the true promise draws nigh, ellipsis, then will the truth be known. To continue. And when the eyes of those who are indifferent to warnings stare, woe is us, we had been in heedlessness of this. The truth is, we were wrongdoers. You and what you serve besides God are the firewood of hell. You will arrive at it. Had these been gods, they would not have arrived at it. But all are therein abiding eternally. For them therein is moaning, and therein they hear not. Those for whom the best from us has gone forth, they are far from it. They hear not the sound thereof, and they abide eternally in what their souls desired. The greatest terror will not grieve them, and the angels will receive them. This is your day, which you were promised, the day we roll up the sky like the rolling up of a scroll for the laws. As we began the first creation, we will repeat it. A promise upon us, we are to do it. And we decreed in the Psalms, after the remembrance, my righteous servants will inherit the earth. In this is a communication for people who serve, but we sent thee only as a mercy for all mankind. Say thou, I am but instructed that your God is but one God. Will you then be submitted? And if they turn away, say thou, I warned you all alike, and for all I know, Near or far is what you are promised. He knows what is public of speech, and he knows what you conceal. And for all I know, it might be a means of denial for you and goods for a time. Say thou, my Lord, judge thou aright. And our Lord is the Almighty, the one whose aid is sought against what you describe. Chapter 22. In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. O mankind, be in prudent fear of your Lord. The convulsion of the hour is a tremendous thing. The day you see it, every nursing mother will neglect what she suckles, and every one bearing will deliver her burden, and thou wilt see mankind intoxicated yet not intoxicated. But the punishment of God is is severe, and among men is he who disputes concerning God without knowledge and follows every rebellious shaitan. It is decreed for him that whoso takes him as ally, he will lead him astray and guide him to the punishment of the inferno. O mankind, should you be in doubt concerning the resurrection, we created you from dust then from a drop of fluid, then from a clinging thing, then from a fleshy lump, formed and unformed, that we might make plain to you, and we cause to rest what we will in the wombs to a named term, then brought we you forth as a child, then that you reach maturity, and among you is he who is taken, and among you is he who is returned to a feeble age, so that he knows not, after knowledge, anything. And thou seest the earth 
lifeless. Then when we send down upon it the water, it stirs and gives increase and puts forth every sort of delightful kind, because God, he is the truth, and he gives life to the dead, and he is powerful over all things, and the hour is coming, there is no doubt thereof, and God will raise those in the graves. And among men is he who disputes concerning God without knowledge or guidance or an illuminating decree, twisting his neck that he might be led away from the path of God. For him in this world is degradation, and on the day of resurrection we will make him taste the punishment of the consuming fire. Because of what thy hands sent before thee, and because God is not unjust to the servants. And among men is he who serves God upon an edge. If good befalls him, he is assuaged thereby. But if a means of denial befalls him, he turns about his face. He loses this world and the hereafter. That is the clear loss. He calls besides God to that which harms him not and benefits him not. That is the extreme error. He calls to him whose harm is nearer than his benefit. Evil is the benefactor and evil is the confederate. God makes those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. God does what he intends. Whoso thinks that God will not help him in this world and the hereafter, let him stretch out means towards the sky, then let him cross and let him see. Will his plan remove that whereat he rages? And thus do we send it down as plain proofs, and God guides whom he wills. Those who heed warning, and those who hold to Judaism, and the Sabaeans, and the Nazarenes, and the Majus, and those who ascribe a partnership, God will decide between them on the day of resurrection. God is a witness over all things. Hast thou not considered that to God submits whoso is in the heavens, and whoso is in the earth, and the sun, and the moon, and the stars, and the mountains, and the trees, and the creatures, and many among men. And upon many the punishment becomes binding, and whom God humiliates there is none to honour. God does what he wills. These are two disputants contending about their Lord. Then those who are indifferent to warning Garments of fire have been cut for them, poured from above their heads is a scalding liquid, fused therewith is what is in their bellies and their skins, and they have restraints of iron. Whenever they desire to come out therefrom from distress, they are returned thereto, and taste the punishment of the consuming fire. God makes those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they are adorned with bracelets of gold and pearls, and their raiment therein is silk. And they were guided to the good of speech and were guided to the path of the praiseworthy. Those who are indifferent to warning and forsake the path of God and the inviolable place of worship which we made for mankind equally, the one remaining in it and the one without ellipsis. They seek deviation by injustice therein to continue. And whoso seeks deviation by injustice therein, him will we cause to taste a painful punishment. And when we settled for Ibrahim the position of the house, Ascribe thou not a partnership with me to anything, and purify thou my house for those who move about and those who stand, and the lowly, the submitting. And proclaim thou among mankind the pilgrimage, 
They will come to thee on foot and on every lean camel, coming from every deep mountain pass, that they might witness things that benefit them and remember the name of God on days appointed over their provision of livestock cattle. So eat thereof and feed therewith the unfortunate poor. Then let them make an end of their unkemptness and pay their vows and move about the ancient house. That ellipsis was then to continue. And whoso magnifies the inviolable things of God, it is good for him in the sight of his Lord. And the cattle are lawful to you, save that recited unto you, and shun the abomination of idols, and shun false speech, inclining towards God, not of those who ascribe a partnership to him, and whoso ascribes a partnership to God, it is as if he had fallen down from the sky and the birds snatched him away or the wind had blown him to a far off place. That ellipsis is now to continue. And whoso honours the tokens of God, it is from the prudent fear of the hearts for you in them are benefits to a named term. Then is their destination to the ancient house. And for every community we appointed a right that they remember the name of God over what he has provided them of livestock cattle. And your God is one God, so submit to him. And bear thou glad tidings to the humble, whose hearts are afraid when God is remembered, and those patient over what befalls them, and who uphold the duty, and spend of what we have provided them. And the camels, we appointed them for you among the tokens of God, for you is good in them, so remember the name of God over them when they are in lines. And when their flanks become requisite, eat thereof, and feed the contented and the wretched. Thus have we made them serviceable to you, that you might be grateful. Their flesh and their blood reach not God, but the prudent fear reaches him from you. Thus have we made them serviceable to you, that you might magnify God for guiding you. And bear thou glad tidings to the doers of good. God defends those who heed warning. God loves not every treacherous ingrate. Leave is given those who fight because they were wronged. And God is able to help them. Those who are turned out of their homes without cause, save that they say our Lord is God. And were God not to repel some people by means of others, pious communities would be destroyed, and trade, and duties, and places of worship wherein the name of God is remembered much, ellipsis, would be lost to continue. But God helps one who helps him. God is strong, mighty. Those who, if we establish them in the land, Uphold the duty and give the purity and enjoin what is fitting and forbid perversity. And to God belongs the final outcome of matters. And if they reject thee, then there rejected before them the people of Nuh and Ad and Thamud and the people of Ibrahim and the people of Lut and the people of Madian and Musa was rejected. And I reprieved those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Then I seized them. And how was my rejection? And how many a city did we destroy while they were doing wrong and is desolate? And a deserted well, ellipsis, is desolate, to continue. And a lofty castle, ellipsis, is desolate. To continue. Did they then not travel in the land and have hearts with which to reason or ears with which to hear? And it is not the eyes that are blind, but blind are the hearts which are in the breasts. 
and they ask thee to hasten the punishment, and God does not fail in his promise. And a day in the sight of God is as a thousand years of what you count. And how many a city did I reprieve when it was doing wrong? Then I seized it, and to me is the journey's end. Say thou, O mankind, I am but a clear warner to you. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, they have pardon and a noble provision. And those who strive to undermine our proofs, these are the companions of hell. And we sent not before thee any messenger or prophet, save that when he desired, the shaitan cast into his desire. And God abolishes what the shaitan casts. Then God makes firm his proofs, and God is knowing wise, that he might make what the shaitan casts a means of denial for those in whose hearts is disease, and those whose hearts are hardened, and the wrongdoers are in extreme schism, and that those who have been given knowledge might know that it is the truth from thy Lord, and believe in it, and their hearts might humble themselves to him. And God guides those who heed warning to a straight path, and those who are indifferent to warning will not cease to be in doubt thereof until the hour comes upon them unexpectedly, or there comes to them the punishment of a barren day, the dominion on that day belongs to God. He will judge between them. Then are those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness in the gardens of bliss. And those who are indifferent to warning and repudiate our proofs, they have a humiliating punishment. And those who emigrate for the cause of God then are killed or die God will provide for them a goodly provision, and God, he is the best of providers. He will make them enter by an entrance with which they will be satisfied, and God is knowing, forbearing. That, ellipsis, is to come, to continue. And whoso retaliates with the like whereof he is attacked, then is wronged, God will help him. God is pardoning, forgiving. Because God makes the night enter into the day and makes the day enter into the night. And because God is hearing, seeing. Because God, he is the truth. And because that to which they call besides him, it is vanity. And because God, he is the exalted, the great Hast thou not considered that God sends down water from the sky and the earth becomes green? God is subtle, aware. To him belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And God, he is the free from need, the praiseworthy. Hast thou not considered how God made what is in the earth serviceable to you, and the ship runs upon the sea by his command, and he holds the sky, lest it fall on the earth, save by his leaf. God is to mankind kind, merciful. And he it is who gave you life, then will he give you death, then will he give you life. Man is an ingrate. For every community we appointed a right for them to perform. So let them not dispute with thee concerning the matter. And invite thou to thy Lord, thou art upon right guidance. And if they dispute with thee, say thou, God knows best what you do. God will judge between you on the day of resurrection concerning that wherein you differ. Knowest thou not? that God knows what is in the sky and the earth, that is in a decree, that is easy for God. 
and they serve besides God that for which he has not sent down warrant, and that whereof they have no knowledge, and for the wrongdoers there is no helper. And when our clear proofs are recited to them, thou recognizest perversity in the faces of those who are indifferent to warning. They all but attack those who recite our proofs to them. Say thou, then shall I inform you of worse than that, the fire God has promised to those who are indifferent to warning, and evil is the journey's end. O mankind, an example is presented, so pay heed to it. Those to whom you call besides God will never create a fly, though they gather together for it. And if the fly snatch something from them, they could not recover it from it. Weak are the seeker and the sought. They measure not God with the measure due him. God is strong, mighty, God chooses among the angels and among men messengers. God is hearing, seeing. He knows what is at their time and what following them, and unto God are matters returned. O oh, you who heed warning, be lowly and submit, and serve your Lord, and do good that you might be successful and strive for God with the striving due him. He chose you and placed not upon you in doctrine any distress, the creed of your father, Ibrahim. He named you those submitted before and in this, that the messenger might be a witness unto you, and that you might be witnesses unto men. So uphold the duty, and give the purity, and hold fast to God, he is your benefactor, excellent is the benefactor, and excellent is the helper.